What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. Look, I said this about Shaq, man. Shaq is a top tennis all-time basketball player, four NBA championships, uh, over twenty, uh, what over well over twenty-eight thousand career points, uh, two scoring titles, um, uh, three-time Finals MVP. I mean, just one of the most dominant players, an MVP, should have had more than one MVP. Uh, if he had the work ethic of a Kobe, the mindset of a Mike, the, the, the killer instinct of a bird, man, he'd probably have been the GOAT. But be that as it may, Shaq is an all-time great. Shaq is also a company man. Okay? Shaq is going to do whatever he can to help out the brand, whether it's the NBA or the Lakers or whatever the hell that he thinks is the politically correct or whatever he thinks is the, is the standard line to make. So uh, he was asked on CNBC today in an interview about the whole situation with LeBron after last night's atrocious performance against the Pelicans at, at Crypto.com uh, Arena. And he said that if the Lakers trade LeBron James, they'll never win another championship again. This is what he said. He said, um, if you trade LeBron, you'll never win again. If you put LeBron around the right guys, they're definitely going to win. I think we'll put the team together. You just step up and try and fix it. Well, Shaq, that was LeBron. Okay, yeah, it was Rob Palenka who actually formally made the moves, but LeBron James was the man behind the muscle, so to speak, or the muscle behind the man, I guess. Maybe that's a better way of putting it. It'll sort of be like, if Terry took the test, but LeBron gave him all the answers. I mean, yeah, Terry actually took the fucking test, but the credit should really go to LeBron, right? So this is my thing, man. Shaq, didn't they trade you in 2004? They traded you. And many people thought that was the wrong thing to do. They said, why trade Shaq, man? He's the do most dominant force and da 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 But Jerry Buss said and thought to himself, he made the logical conclusion. Shaq is 32. It's showing signs of slowing down. Versus Kobe Bryant, who is 24. I think we'll go with Kobe being Bryant, right? We're going to go with Kobe. Actually, Kobe was 25 at the time. Versus 25. Yeah, we're going to go with Kobe. He has a future in front of him. Shaq is just going to be a downside. And that's exactly what happened. Now, Shaq did win another title. But that's when he teamed up with Wade. But Kobe were going to win two more championships, three consecutive finals and uh, appearances for Lake. And shout out to the chat group, man, and I mean, for putting this story up there, man. Shout out to all you guys, you know, in, in the chat group. Look, will the Lakers win another championship anytime soon after LeBron is gone? Probably not. But will they ever win one? Yeah. If they have the right people in place, who don't let some megalomaniacal egomaniac run their fucking front office and actually put a team assembled uh, that can compete for many years? Yeah, they can win it. They can win a championship. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be anytime soon, but it will happen. Look, it took. The Lakers, 
from the time they were in Minneapolis, it took them, I believe, 18 years from their last title in Minneapolis until they finally won it all in Los Angeles. And after that, in 72, it took them another eight years to win a championship. And then after the Showtime Lakers era, it took them 12 years to win another champ- championship. So, no, it's not going to be something that's going to happen every year. But it's going to happen if you put the right people in place. People, look, players love L.A. You're going you're gonna to attract people to that city anyway just because of the nature of the city demographics, the, you know, the infrastructure, what's there, the business opportunities. You're going to attract a superstar anyway. So the Lakers are always going to be good. They might not always win a title, but Shaq's statement makes no sense. Put who around LeBron? A bunch of stars? The days of just putting people around him in the system, that shit's over. He's not good enough for that anymore. Basically what Shaq is saying, put superstars around LeBron and and make him the NBA's version of Tom Brady. Fuck that. Uh Uh-uh. No, it's time to move on. Let him sail off into the sunset, have his points tour. Fine, you know what I'm saying? And let's move on to the Ja Morant, the Giannis Antetokounmpo's, okay? What's left of Kevin Durant's prime, Kyrie, the players that matter. Okay, Luca. I want to hear. Don't we want to hear more about those guys? Because I damn sure want to talk more about them. But the mainstream media forces us to talk about LeBron because that's all they talk about. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Tell me what you guys think.